What you see behind me here is San Simeon Pier. Just about 150 years ago, this was one of the most popular whaling spots in the Central Coast and even the United States. Nowadays, it's just a beach for people to go and enjoy their Sundays. But what was it like back then? What were the processes the whalers went through and how was their life? In the mid-1860s, you would have crews of six to seven people standing along this coast side at a time, just waiting from dusk until dawn to find a whale that they could get the green light to go out and hunt. When a whale was spotted, a crow's nest stationed at Piedras Blancas Point would signal whalers at San Simeon to go chase after the whale. And then crews of six to seven would mount up in these 30-foot long boats and be on their way. Often, it would take up to 20 miles to finally catch these whales, using bombs and harpoons as a method to neutralize it and eventually bring it back to shore. When they were finally brought back to the harbor, whalers would gut them using a variety of tools and remove all of the blubber they had, eventually bringing them into 300-pound vats to boil them down into oil. Quite often, whalers would have to go to really long lengths to get access to just the basic necessities. For water, they'd have to drive miles and miles to get access to freshwater areas. For fire, they would have to use leftover whale blubber, and quite often, driftwood. Because these small crews had to take on such a heavy job in these whaling operations, they would often enlist the help of fishermen or other locals that had experience in the maritime network. Because transportation was really limited back in the day, oftentimes whalers would have to put all of this processed oil in barrels, and they would just throw those barrels out to the ocean. And after that was done, they'd wait for a ship to come pick them up, like that. Whaling would remain extremely successful for years, raking in what today would be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars along San Simeon. But eventually this whale population ran out as whalers would increase their supply over time, and by 1914, it was dead. Until whaling returns, if ever, San Simeon Pier will remain a popular tourist destination for people to come and enjoy what was once one of the largest maritime destinations on the Central Coast.